Okay, hello everybody. Let's go ahead and recap recap the lesson for today. Uh, we're getting ready for the test tomorrow. So today we really looked at there are really four ways to find the roots of a quadrilateral. Okay, roots are the same thing as zeros, which is always also the same thing as x-intercepts. So in our book we looked at four different ways to get the same answer from the same problem. So we started with this problem here, okay? So y equals 2x squared plus 4x minus 6. And we're going to use each method to get the answer. And then we can see which one we like, okay? So first of all, by factoring. This one will factor. There's always my favorite way is if it will factor, then usually it's pretty quick and easy. That's why I like factoring, if it factors. So I took a look at it. I set it equal to 0 because we're looking for 0. So set it equal to 0. First thing I recognize is that I can divide everything by 2. just makes the problem easy. Everything divides by 2. So I get a regular 1x squared plus 2x minus 3. Okay, from there then, I know I can factor it. x times x. Multiples of negative 3 are 3 and negative 1 because they also make a positive 2 for the middle term. Um, and then I get my many equations. I solve my many equations. x plus 3 equals 0. x minus 1 equals 0. And I get one of the roots as negative 3 and the other root as positive 1. Okay, great. Now, another way to tackle this is completing the square. If I can get x squared and an even number, it's pretty easy, okay? So again, I divide everything by 2, x squared plus 2x minus 3. And on completing the square, they said the very first thing you need to do is bring c to the other side. So I brought, I added c, and I brought the c over here. So here's my 3. And then the technique is to take half of this number and square it. Half of this Half of 2 is 1, and 1 squared is 1. So I'm basically taking 1 half of b squared. b is 2. Half of 2 is 1. 1 squared is 1. So I added 1 to both sides. You have to add to both sides to keep it balanced. Okay. The reason we do this is this will factor. Okay. This will factor into x plus 1, x plus 1. That's why we complete the square. So we get x plus 1, x plus 1, which we can rewrite as x plus 1 quantity squared. And then that equals 4 now, because I went plus 1. So to get rid of the square, x plus 1 quantity squared, I can square root, square root. Um, I know I have to have two answers. Square root of 4 is 2, but also negative 2. Um, and then I just set up my mini equations. 2 equals x plus 1, and negative. And negative 2 equals x plus 1. Um, and I solve. Minus 1, and I get 2. Subtract 1, I get negative 3. Okay. Same two answers as this. Complete the square or by factoring. Now, if it won't work for any reason at all, then you can always use the quadratic formula, okay? Um, I don't like to use the quadratic formula if I can use the factoring, but, you know, let's say you don't know how to do it. So, negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a, where, in this case, my a is 2, my b is 4, my c is 6. So I go negative b, which is a negative 4, plus or minus square root of b squared. So I squared 4. I got 16 minus 4. That's in the form of 4 times a and times c, all divided by 2 times a. All right, then I went through and I just simplified it. 4 times 2 times 6 is 48. Negative, negative makes positive 48. I also added 16 plus 48 and I got 64. Took the square root of 64 and I got 8. And then I can just go from there, negative 4 plus 8 over 4 and negative 4 minus 8 over 4. I get 4 over 4, which is 1. And finally, I get a negative 12 over 4, which is a 3. Okay? Same two answers. So we've got the answers here by factoring. We got the answers here by completing the square. We got the exact same answers here by the quadratic formula. And finally, there are also x-intercepts, so I graphed it, and I looked on decimals, and where it intersects, the x-axis is at negative 3 and 1. So those are the x-intercepts, which are also zeros, which are also roots. Okay, that's all I wanted to show today. Um, homework today was page 85, homework, page 85 and 86, all right? And test tomorrow. All right, that's all I have, and we'll see you tomorrow.